Right, I've just tipped this load of wheat and there was I'm now at the other end of this. Alright, hi guys, here we are. I'm now on the way with this load of wheat I was talking about in the last video. Let's see how much we've got. I've had comments ranging from, I think, about nine tons right up to 10.25 so we'll see you in a few minutes well a few minutes for me a few seconds for you how much we got but i got a bit more a bit more weight than i had last time i've got well we were in between nine and ten and a half tons according to a u lot but yeah that was quite interesting to see you put a, a question out there how many people actually respond so yeah it still doesn't seem to be much of a pull for this tractor at 10 ton or whatever it is so but anyway I'll, I'll catch you guys when I get when I get after I get weighed to see what we've got Right, I've just tipped this load of wheat and there was 9.86 tonnes. Yeah, it's about 460 kilograms more than I said. I'll wait till um, next week to see who actually won because there's still a few people coming through. I've one come through this morning with a weight, so yeah just moving over this car yeah so 9.86 tons in that in that load so almost 10 so i have a feeling the nearest one was going to be the person who said 10. But anyway we'll see i got my uh new holland ovals on i've just met um mr policeman there he goes. Probably saw him in the mirror there. Yeah, I've got my new, 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 new Holland Ovals on. Yep. They arrived the other day. So I thought I'd wear them as new in my tractor, so. Yep, right. Anyway guys, so I'm not quite sure what will be next on the video, but we'll We'll see. I've got some. Uh, the next job I think we've got to do is clear up the grain barn. It's fairly. Uh, well, all the corns now are gone now. So we've got to hoover it up, dust it down, get it all sprayed out, ready for harvest, which isn't. What is it today? The 22nd of June. Yeah, it's the 22nd of June today. So harvest is probably at least three weeks off, but those three weeks will soon be gone. And if we don't crack on with it because got, we've got pigs going out as well so if we don't crack on with it it won't um, it'll be harvest and we won't be ready so uh, hi guys I'm out in the sparrow again today got a few um, issues with other boots <laughs> uh, riders work because these beans are right in some places and there's nothing there's nothing there in the middle of the spray or near the tram line for some reason there's nothing there the, the automated boom line because there's three three sensors on the boom obviously there's nothing in the middle one so the middle drops right down I don't know if you can see it now but I'm not spraying I'm just going backwards but the middle drops right down and the ends go Right up in the air. But, you, know, you might be able to see what's going on there. If I pull out a bit around the corner, yeah, it's now. See, the end's right in the air now. It's now starting to. Yeah, it's, it's leveled out now. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's back to normal because we're in the, in the crop, in the middle of the field, it's fine. It's just the odd one or two places on the hem where it's quite so good. But these beans really have grown. I mean, it's, it's, you can see the tram line, but it's not exactly easy to see the tram line. They've, these ones have really shot up here. Right, here I am in this crop of beans. Yeah, they're quite nice and thick. With beans, the thicker they are, the taller they grow. These ones here are they're almost up to my almost up to my waist. Look right down the bottom. Down in here. You can see the pods are actually starting to fall right down the right down the bottom there. Yeah. Some seem to have more pods on them than others. Some seem to be bigger than others. But... In last week's video, one of you asked what uh, moisture meter we used for testing the moisture of the hay or straw. Well, this is what we got on this, on top of this baler. Here we go, this tooth hole here. That there, that goes round as the baler goes along. The bale comes out and there's one over the other side. There, and somehow they send a, uh, a beam across the bale, the bale which actually measures the moisture, and it's pretty, it's pretty accurate. How it works, I don't know really, but it works. So that's the main thing. end of this field doing the other triangle because there's a triangle at uh, both ends. Yeah and I'm not taking out a field margin or anything like that. This is just is simply a bit that's just such an awkward shape. You cannot get the get the sprayer in this corner. If you look further up the field there you can uh, you can see it gets it gets wider. So yeah, we just have to leave it and then I'll just go speed through with the mower there as you can see and uh, we're just simply doing this just to kill all the rubbish off but most of this is like grass and stuff but there are a few thistles in there and we don't want that getting in the sugar beet so. right I've just finished just chopped it all up nicely and hopefully that will all die off now some of it will probably come back but it is the ground is still quite 
quite moist actually but yeah it's pulled all the it's pulled the the roots out here because i went in fairly deep yeah it's pulled out all quite a few of the roots so hopefully that'll uh that'll die so just see what happens anyway guys hope you enjoyed watching another one of my videos i'll catch you guys next week